In this series of videos, I'm trying to give you hints, clues, and tips on what to do after you get SQL Monitor installed. And in the first video, we talked about setting up groups. In the second video, we talked about security. Now I'm going to skip over how to add your servers to Monitor because that's very well documented and you know which servers you need to add. So we're not going to worry about that. Instead, we're going to move to the next step and that's dealing with alerts. In order to properly document alerting and alerts, we're going to have to do a series of videos because there's a lot to do in terms of setting up alerts for your system. The key point here is, is that while we create a good set of defaults and we have a good set of metrics, everyone's systems are unique and you're going to have unique situations and unique needs that are going to require you to modify our defaults. The defaults are great for a very, very broad set of people, but they're probably not great for you. And for you, you will need to make some adjustments. Now, before we get there, I want to talk about alerting as a general concept. This is really important that we come at this from a, from a point of view that we know how we want alerts to behave. So you can see we've got three different levels of alerting. Um, there is red, yellow, and blue, or high, medium, and low, or any way you want to think about them actionable, informational, and informative, I don't know. I mean, it, depending on how you want to set it up. But the way you've got to approach alerting, and the way I would recommend that you approach it in this case, is that the red alerts, the high alerts, are immediate action. Something is on fire. You must do something about it now. And anything that is not an immediate reaction alert should not be a high alert. It should not be something that you are consciously going after for alerting. The next level, the medium alerts, is stuff that requires action but not immediate action. So for example, a red alert would be something that you would send to an email or to a web service or whatever that's going to wake people up at 3 a.m. and make them do something. That would be the red, the high-level alerts. The yellow alerts are probably going to go to a different web service or a different setting on that web service or a different email address, and it's going to be, hey, in the morning, you better do something about this. Whereas the low-level alerts are much more informational, much more along the lines of, well, you know, you've got a long-running query that's probably something you should address at some point. It's not something, you know, that should be actionable immediately, but it should be actionable still. The one thing that alerting should not do, you should not really be using alerting as simple documentation. Uh, something happened. Uh, it becomes messy, and the messier things get, the less people pay attention to it. Uh, I use radio as an analogy. What you want is a lot of signal and very little noise. You want to get a very high signal to noise ratio. The alerts should be telling you to do something either immediately, in the very near term, or soon. That should basically be high, medium, and low, red, yellow, and blue. Now, very soon or relatively soon. That's the way you should break it down. And you want to take that approach when you start to tune the alerts. If you're not taking that approach, you may see that you generate lots and lots and lots of alerts. It fills your inboxes, it causes problems, and people begin to ignore the alerts. And ignoring the alerts basically negates the whole concept of having alerts for your monitoring system. So first off, agree amongst your team, amongst your teams, how you're going to deal with each of these types of alerts. That should be your first decision point on how you're going to manage your alerts going forward. After you make that, 
you then take the next step. And we'll talk about that in the next video. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Thank you very much for watching.